Dave Ferguson is in the building. What's up, bro? All good. Mr. Exponential. Sure. The hero maker himself. <laughs> it seems like once you kind of take the title, then you kind of automatically lose it. So yeah, let's be yeah. careful. Touche, touche, touche. <laughs> so we go from hero maker to more. Yeah. Call to more. How, how do we make that leap? What's that transition there? Well, here's, here's the thing. And I think I got this from back in the day from uh, Alan Hirsch. Uh, Alan kind of laid it out this way. If you want to see a missional movement, I'll give you an equation. He said you need um, multiplying churches. He actually would take the letters like MC plus MP. Multiplying churches plus missional people. That gives you MM, a missional movement. Mm -hmm. Multiplying churches, missional people gives you a missional movement. Mm. And I, I've often, when I, when I talk about it, I usually talk about it, it's like they're like two pedals of a bike. You need to push both pedals. Yeah. Multiplying churches, but I also get everybody on mission. Starting new churches, but everybody in those churches on mission. And if you do both those things pretty soon, push both pedals, you start to get momentum, and that momentum creates, help me out. Movement. Boom, right there, movement. I just took algebra, didn't even know. <laughs> I just took Christian algebra. And here's the thing. So really for the last, I'd say four years or so at Exponential, we've been pushing the MC part, multiplying yeah. churches, level five. How do you do this? Vision, the tensions, the culture, leadership, hero making. But now, if we get that part going, we got to have this other piece too, mobilizing all people. Yeah. Because, I mean, let's say, let's say you, you start three churches next year. You start three churches, but only 25% of those people are on mission in each of those churches. Yeah. Well, I mean, you'd be better off to start one church where you got 100% of the people on mission. Yeah. So we're leaving a lot of the missional kind of opportunities, so to speak, on the table when we're not mobilizing all people for mission. So that's why we're fired about next year, because it's called, uh, it's more trying to mobilize people God's way. So what, what, are, what are some of the elements of mobilizing all your folks, getting all your people on mission? How do we do that? Well, I mean, we're really thinking in terms of three kind of big words that are kind of simple, easy to remember, to be able to share with other folks. All right. So B, B. we have to understand who are we are, our identity, our identity in Christ. Yeah. And that we are, we are sons and children of God, um, but we are also called to be missionaries, yeah. all of us. And we just, man, oh man, we just heard Jossie Chaco talk about that. Such, so brilliant, but talking about how all of us are missionaries. Yeah. So it's about the B part. It's also about the do. Okay, this is not something that we just have to know in our heads, but no, we're actually called Gotta to action, actually do action with it. And yeah. then go. And we'll, go. And we'll that's, that's the last part. So we'll um, I'll tell you, that's pretty brilliant. Be, do, go. Yes, it is. Did y'all have a, like a full day workshop planning strategist to come up with that? So Todd had his book. Todd wrote a book called <laughs> More, uh -huh. right? And early on, he sent it to me and kind of buried in there. He had this be, do, go, but... Between me and you, don't tell anybody. But you know, Todd's kind of a brainy guy, and oh, yeah. and so he needs some folks to make sure it's simple. Well, he needs the face to simplify it. That's it was right. probably an equation when he started it in a spreadsheet, <laughs> like Alan. And then you put it in a book. And yeah. I and I told him, I said, that's that's the sticky part. That's the memorable part there. Yeah. Be do go. Focus. So then he kind of tr changed some things in the book, and that became the the core of it. And I think it's brilliant uh, what he wrote. And so it's all out of Ephesians, and that's where we're going next year in Ephesians and Beautiful. be do go. So just to get the roles right. Todd brings the brilliance, and then you dumb it down. Bingo. <laughs> so that the average folks so that the can average understand people it. people <laughs> like me can get it. And if I can get it, then you can get it. There you go. Yo, I can't wait for a call to move. The church is a really big deal. You don't come to Exponential and experience this conference that you guys have created without feeling like the church is a really big deal. Can you tell me a story or about a time or an experience when you saw the church at her best in a way that it shaped you and marked you and kind of created this love for the church that you have? I'm sure there are tons of them, but is there, is there a I mean, moment or experience? I mean, I can, I mean, even as recent as the last month, we started a brand new location. Yeah. And uh, we, it was, it's been our best launch of a brand new site of community we've ever had. Most people... Um, but the thing I love the most is we had a guy who, uh, who told his story who actually was baptized during one of the launch team meetings. Wow. And this is a guy who, um, he was in his garage, he was ready, he was going to take his own life, I mean he was ready to hang himself when he said a prayer, the garage door comes open and 
it was kind of like an awkward moment and he, and, he, and he changed his mind. And he said in the, within almost no time, he really, he just felt like God was speaking to him and like God had spared his life for a reason. Um, he'd been involved where, in a, with a lot of different kind of addictive behaviors. He got sober and he got sober. He got involved in, a, in an alpha course. He found his way back to God and, uh, and he got baptized. And to hear him tell his story, I mean, like, like I, well, you know me well enough. I love everything up and to the right. I want to see my church multiply. I want to see the kingdom multiply. I want to see movement. I love all that. But the thing that makes my heart beat fast, the thing that really gets me out of bed is helping people find their way back to God. Wow. When one person says yes to Jesus, and you can see it, and they tell their story yeah. about how their life's different, like that guy, that's, that's, for me, that's, like, uh, that's like a conversion all over again. That's why we do what we do. That's why wow. we do what we do. That's so, amazing. And, then, and now this, this new location, they just told me last week, they had 10 more people who said next Sunday they're getting baptized. Wow. I know. How about that? That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Dave Ferguson. Thanks, bro. Yeah.